Well, TRE, which is tension-releasing exercises or trauma-releasing exercises, are a set of exercises that in invoke your own self-healing vibration. In other words, a simple set of exercises brings on a natural shaking or tremoring mechanism that sends what's called a neurogenic tremor or a vibration throughout the body. And what that does is it goes, it seeks out the area in the body that has been traumatized, has gone through surgery, has gone through a break, for example, and through a vibration that is very specific to the one area of the injury, for example, that entire area gets an increase in blood supply during the shaking, it gets loosened up, the connective tissue becomes much more supple, more, more uh, movable, and so you get increase in flexibility and increase in mobility. That is the prime uh, function of using TRE for injuries. If you take a look uh, at the first video clip, this is a young man who is, uh, he would describe himself as uh, a, a sports enthusiast, enthusiast who goes for extreme sports. And this young man cycled all the way from Cairo to Cape Town and had many uh, falls along the way, as well as put his body through a lot of deep shock by cycling for six to eight hours a day, sometimes over very, very rough terrain. And as you can see in the body's movement here, the body is actually shaking almost as if he's on his bicycle, bobbing up and down on top of the, 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 the rough roads and the terrain that he went through Africa on. He also tells us that he's broken nearly every bone in his body. And when you have this kind of scenario, the body actually also registers that as shock. When, when bones are broken or when trauma is severe, after an accident, the body registers this as shock. And the shock of that experience also needs to be released, which it, it isn't usually, it isn't until you can tremor it off. So there is another layer at which, particularly in this young man, uh, where shaking off those experiences actually led him to much greater sense of freedom and, and agility and ability with his cycling. He was able to return to cycling with renewed enthusiasm and vigor and all the memories of the accidents that he'd had were completely left behind him. Can you please explain how surgery affects the body and how TAE can help with the recovering? When it comes to surgery, I think uh, many people don't understand the impact on the body uh, from the surgical incision, from, from the surgeon's knife. Surgery itself, however useful and how, however helpful it might be to the situation, is still regarded by the body as a life or death situation. The body pours out an immense amount of adrenaline and other fight or flight chemicals to deal with the actual shock and trauma of the surgery itself. Following the surgery, you have a long period of recovery in which there's inflammation, connective tissue organizes itself around the surgical wound, and you end up with scar tissue and a lot of stiffness. And sometimes for life, one can have a joint or an area of the body that has not fully recovered. We have a video clip here of a young man who injured his, his ankle and actually tore ligaments and he opted for surgical repair of these ligaments and you'll see in this TRE exercise which was done three months after his surgery that this right ankle is trying to shake itself free of the very tight, stiff, swollen area that was produced by that surgery. You'll also see interspersed with that that he the whole leg gets pulled into a, a flexed position and stretches itself out. So very often what happens with TRE is you'll get your shaking up of the very tight stuck together tissue area together with a stretching out which is actually stress, stretching of the fascia connective tissue layers between the muscles. And as a result of this amazing combination that the body's doing for itself, 
I think you would have to agree that nobody can shake their foot as fast as that. The body is doing it for itself. At the end of this one session, this, this one young man reported that his ankle had returned full mobility and full flexibility. So, Dr. Salman, please tell us how quickly after an injury is it possible to, to do 3 AE? Okay. Um, there is a time period that one needs to wait for during f after physical injury and the same applies to surgery actually and that is it's very much a common sense answer you do not want to be shaking the body while there is inflammation stitches any injury that is still very raw so in other words if you've got a broken bone you would wait until the bone bone was healed so it depends on the bone. If it's a long bone uh, in the body, say one of the, the leg bones, you would have to wait three months uh, until the person's out of plaster. If it was a sprain or a minor bone, like a finger bone or a wrist sprain, you would wait maybe six weeks. So the rule of thumb is you don't do TRE until the doctor says you're okay to go back to work and resume normal activity. In general, how do sports enthusiasts what people receive TAE? Well, it's quite interesting because I think in the early days we didn't get people like sports people come on board. However, since TRE is spread, especially in South Africa, the sporting community is getting to hear that there is a method here that can very quickly get them back onto their sport. And both of these, uh, these videos are an excellent example of sports people who came along were slightly resistant to the idea of doing something strange such as lying on the floor and shaking however having done that they are so enthusiastic that they have brought their friends along and we are now finding a spread amongst the young population of sports enthusiasts who are coming along pure and simply to recover from their injuries great thank you very much you're very welcome.